new product time. So first yes. up is the um, Bear Conductive. Classroom pack. Yeah, this is a classroom pack. So this is a pack. Um, it, it, we have the Bear Conductive cards in the store and pens. Um, and the cards are kind of an easy way to get started. It's, it's a safe, non-toxic way to build a conductive circuit. And so this classroom pack is chock full of goodies. So there's a CD with instructions. Um, there's the inst uh, instruction worksheet for a teacher. And then there's enough parts to make um, 30 cards, uh, yep. 10 different designs. See this one? Oh, there you go. Sorry. Um, 10 different designs, um, ten, like three different LEDs, 10 pens. And then, yeah, these adorable little cards. And each card actually has the instructions on the side for basically how to you know, do it and um, use the conductive pens to um, make the trace and then you punch the LED through and then you kind of glue it on. You punch the battery through and you kind of glue it on with the pen. The pen is just a little bit adhesive. And then um, you put a little bit here and then that acts as like a mechanical switch. This is a little like happy robot with like a sort of a key thing on top. And then you make a little card and then you can put right on the inside um, like happy birthday from a robot. Uh, and there's um, 10 different robot designs. It's very cute, and it's there's 30 of them. So it's great for, like, classrooms of, like, you know, 20 oh, to 30 right. people. A um, couple extra if you have 20. If you have 30, then everyone can build it. And they just share the pens because the pens have actually yeah. a lot of conductive material. If you need to adjust that camera, that's not there for any reason other, yeah. than, other than it was just put there. Well, I wanted to show the, the yeah. whole box. That's nice. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, that's the great. batteries, 30 batteries, 10 pens, 30 LEDs. Instructions and the CD. Party in a box, or the yeah. Box. Also good for birthday parties. <laughs> yeah, this would be a good activity yeah. for like a party. All right. Next up. Yeah, next up we'll go through these pretty fast. We are gonna go through these fast. Yeah. So these are the um, little scratch off cards here. Yeah, I'm not going to um, scratch them off, but I will show the cards so people yeah. can see so what is up. Kind of like lotto up. tickets, you know. If if you scratch off the little pieces. Those, yeah. Those so there's a cool little gold. Yeah. Oh, we just thought these were kind of cute and fun. And if you you know if you're making a card again, if you're making a card yeah. for someone, you want to make it special. It have so these have complex. little um, these have little squares, and you can scratch them off. There's even a scratcher included, and then you can write inside yeah. of the yeah. card. Um, and it's by Social Network, Copernicus Toys. It's cute, and so we have one that's just pixels, and when you scratch them off, they turn like this green neon color, and that's cute. And then we have one, it's called the Nixie Scratch Card, but like, I don't mind like putting in the, the true product name, but it ain't Nixie, it's seven segment, although Nixie sounds cooler, so I can understand why they did that. And they even give you a, like, a little font table on the back, like here's what, um, yeah. here's what uh, characters you can, can make, and then you scratch off, it's actually not even sex. It's a hex segment, seven segment esque um, hex segment, and you can uh, scratch them off and make a little like message one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by four. So, you know, a short message to someone you like. And you can write inside of the card and put something inside if you need to. And yeah, these are very um, cute and simple and uh, good for gifts. Okay. Uh, next up. Uh, by the way, we're going to extend the show just a few minutes. So we got uh, we had a bunch of stuff going on and we yeah. some videos. So we, uh, George, we had so many videos. George just gave us a green light. Yay, George. Right there. So next up, um, I'll do this one while you're getting ready. Uh, this is My Little Geek. This is a really cool book. And you know what this does is it kind of continues on if you're into the A through Z of uh, electronics, E's mm -hmm. for electronics. This is um, A through Z of uh, geeky things for kids. A is for Android, um, B is for binary, C is for caffeine. Um, yeah, I'll show the book. K, K is for night. L is for elite. And it's for ninja. It's a, um, it's six inches by six inches, and it's um, like a kind of standard um, baby's kid, you know, young young child uh, cardboard book. So <coughs> it's very sneezy. Um, it's very durable, <laughs> and um, you know, it's it's you know very big character. So they can start, you know, when they start reading, they can start read uh, to read all the words. Um, the illustrations are really beautiful. They're kind of this um, nice. It's it's on. Uh, I think they're oil, maybe, or they're. I don't know what they are, but they're definitely painted onto a canvas and then scanned in, and they're and they're really yeah. beautiful. Really so, thick yeah. pages too. Like you can yeah. give this to no, a you can, really young kid. They can gnaw on this. This is delicious. It comes with yeah. at least like seven minerals and vitamins inside of it, and uh, they're coming with a couple more. This is actually. I think this was either a Kickstarter or. Or some other like Indiegogo there's type a lot thing. Of, there's a lot of books coming out for kids that normally couldn't get a publisher, but yeah. now with mm -hmm. uh, Kickstarter and Indiegogo, they're actually uh, yeah. they're happening. By Andrew and Sarah Spear. So hopefully they have a little geek. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, 
so I didn't, I don't think, I, oh no, I did get both photos, great. I kind of had a flurry of, of things. So these are those, he's super handy, this is a continuation of what you had yes. before. So these we are- We had um, the, the A plug and the U, uh, USB micro B, and now we have the A um, socket shell, which you can, it's actually those photos were really clear, but I'll, I'll show that what you get. You get these three parts, these two parts snap together, and then you get the socket for a USB-A. And actually, I'm going to use it in the a next um, project I want to show off. And on the back, there's these four pins, and you can sort of them very easily. Um, it's super easy. You can make like a charger with them. Um, you want to connect something to a USB host, whatever. Just like without having to shred a cable, super easy. Colin, you were saying that you hated shredding cables. I have cables. a graveyard of half cables. Yeah, yeah. sucks. This you is so much it. better. You make them any size you want. You can connect to like existing cables. You can splice cables. And this is the Mini B. And the Mini B is um, you get all five pins. Because some people are asking, do you get all five pins? You get all five pins. We would not shortchange you with only four pins. You get that extra pin, which normally you don't use anyways. But if you were going to use it, um, it's there. So all five pins, and you can connect to them. And then there's this shell, and then even a nice little rubber gasket thingy. So rock on. We now have uh, a micro, oh, sorry, a uh, female, a male, micro B, and mini B. Uh, we're out of stock on the other ones because they sold out, but we have these now. So we'll get more of the others. Okay. Rock on. Next up. Flora starter pack. Flora starter pack. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, can you just, let's leave this photo because it's actually kind of the best photo. Yeah. This is, um, we worked with Becky Stern, uh, head of, um, direct, director, head. I don't know. Head director. Uh, lead she's wearable. I don't know. <laughs> she's in charge of all our wearable she's, efforts. She's in the wearable biz here. <laughs> she is the business. She is the biz yeah. for wearables. And so she's like, well, I want to have a pack that's for like a very good beginner's pack that's less than $50. And I'm like, I can do you one better. It's going to be $45, uh, less than $45. And it comes with all these fine things. First, it comes with, can we have Oh, you want to go back? <laughs> I was going to talk about the thing. It, on top, it has uh, 12 alligator clips. You get 12. Uh, six different colors, two of each. These are really nice alligator I love these alligator clips. Custom made for us. You get a um, battery extension cable. Becky says they're the best thing ever. Made it for her specifications, so you know it's good. Um, to the left there, there's a spool of our three-ply conductive thread. It's awesome. Um, a, ba a AAA battery holder and some AAA batteries. We decided to go with triple A's because it's much safer than using a lipo. This is good for uh, younger people or people who are not, you know, so experienced with dealing with lipo batteries. It's a little bit extra handling. We want to make this uh, super easy and safe for people. Everyone's got triple A's. Everyone knows what they are. Mm -hmm. um, can you hide me? Thanks. Uh, because I was blocking the NeoPixels. How can I do that? But you get four NeoPixels. Everyone loves these things. They're great for making flora pants or flora umbrellas, or whatever. They're blinky, they RGB LEDs, chainable, they're great. You also get a flora. It's the best wearable platform that we carry. Also the only one. And <laughs> uh, a pack of 20 needles, those needles are really good because uh, we have, they're an arra they're a arrangement, but um, there's four of them that are really good with this thicker thread. If you end up getting thinner thread that we carry, you can use that. There are also some other needles, you can use them, they're handy. It basically turns out just to be easier to get a whole pack of needles than the individual needles. $45. Perfect creating started. You can build a Blinky project, add more pixels, add sensors, but it's like kind of the bare minimum, which we wanted to have uh, since we already had the GPS pack, but it's yeah. like $100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not the, uh, it, we, we'll have more wearables coming since we have a fantastic line of sensors for Flora. Colin, you were starring in we already the, have the best am Amblatai. I was honored to be, yeah. Yeah, in yeah. fact, I think uh, the photo that I was going to use to intro photo? the show, yeah. The photo I was going to intro for you in the show is there. There's you with that your behind the glowing. That's like Instagram me. Glowing that kind. Of, that kind of represents how bright the pixels are. The, they're the really bright. Yeah. They're, they're very intense. You know the saturation. It's yeah. crazy. And uh, pretty okay. soon we'll have our other wearable platform, Gemma. So we're working on that. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, uh, we've got. I'm uh, rushing through these. Yeah, we've got a really fun uh, couple of pro uh, so products. So this is here. this is in fact a couple of projects. This is a coupler. This is a inductive coupled. Uh, and charging kit, and um, you get the transmitter and receiver, and uh, I'm showing it over there, demo, and we'll get this floor out of the way. Um, you get two halves, and they're basically two halves of a transformer when, when they're put next to each other. Mm -hmm. um, and you put nine volts in one way, five volts come out the other. You need to put in nine volts because actually the, um, the efficiency of these things is not so great, because it's an air core transformer. Mm -hmm. It kind of sucks. Like, you're not supposed to do that, but this is handy because you don't have to have it touching. You can have it separated by a couple millimeters. 
uh, depending on how much current you want to draw. If you're willing to draw as little as like 50 milliamps, I think you can have it a half an inch away. Um, but the farther it gets, the efficiency just plummets. So if you want to draw like 500 milliamps, you do need to have it like two or three millimeters away. And I will. We're going to do a live demo. Live. Is this the first uh, conductive, or I'm sorry, inductive, uh, inductive, inductive, inductive charging ever on uh, on live what? on live streaming? I really hope it works. Yeah. All right. Let's, so we have your old phone. And then maybe I'll turn this off so it's a little more okay. visible. You have your phone. It's connected through a cable to the other half of the inductor. And then um, over here, I have the inductor connected to a power supply. Okay. Um, and now it's not coupling. You have to have them be coaxial and very close oh my God, for it, it to start. Um, and yeah, you can have it a couple millimeters away. And you can have any material between. It can be air, plastic, glass, leather, as long as it's non-ferrous. Um, you can't have something that is metal, metallic that would, you know, cause problems with the, the propagation because what it's doing is it's creating a magnetic field that's then uh, coupling into here. But it does work. It can draw up to 500 milliamps if it's really close. Yeah. Do you want to put it all under the camera so you can see it better? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. It's freaking out it's like not. And yeah, you can have it be a little bit not coaxial, but you, you pretty much want it to be right on top of each other for it to work best. That's but right. it, can be, it can be at a distance of yeah. a couple of millimeters. Now take it away far and then, okay, now, and, then, and then put it together. Yeah. And you can hear, clink, yeah. It works. Okay. So, there you go. That's cool. Um, okay. Good for all sorts of projects. But, yeah, just uh, just keep in mind the efficiency is low because it's, you mm. know, yeah. low efficiency. But same sort of thing that's used in uh, rechargeable toothbrushes if you have a rechargeable toothbrush. Okay. And you're, like, you put it in and it, like, charges up. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. No touch. Next up. Um, I think we're going to do everything, yeah? Almost. Next up. Oh. This was a big deal this week. Tor plus Raspberry Pi. Plus Adafruit, onion pie. Onion pie. Yeah, so onion pie. Which could pie. be really good, like a savory pie. Mmm, onion Maybe. pie. Kind of like a shepherd's pie, like perhaps. Shepherd's pie, yeah. yeah. Good. Like if they're like roasted. Yeah, onions. so. Okay. Um, okay. This We're is, all down with that. Yeah, so this is our. Um, I guess this is. If you're concerned about all that NSA stuff or if you're uh, uh, interested in privacy and security, this is a fun way and an easy way to uh, just add Tor to your network. Yeah. And it does it in a very cool way because lots of people have phones and iPads and tablets and you can't run an, an, an anonymizing uh, service on that. Yeah. It's very right. difficult. Right. So you just plug this in via Ethernet and it broadcasts Tor. Right? Yeah. Is that, is that the overview? Basically, that's all you do. It's, it's, it's Ethernet connected to whatever DHCP supplying internet provider you have, either your home router, your work router. You know, if you're at a conference, you just plug it into the wall. And then on the other side, there's that um, access point that um, I wrote the tutorial for, and it transmits a um, WPA encrypted secure access point that when you go through that access point, it will automatically Tor route everything. So Tor is like a, a relay hopping um, protocol. It'll take your packets and it'll kind of randomize where it goes. Um, you know, just make sure that it doesn't make it so that if you log into your account, that account is private. If you log into an account, mm -hmm. then it's identifying you. But if you're, right. you want to browse anonymously or you want to set up a new email account and you don't want that email account to be tied to your IP address, that's a good time yeah. to use this. It's not for, hey, I already have like a Facebook account. I'm going to go connect to Facebook through this. That's, you're yeah. identifying yourself by connecting to Facebook because it has your name, address, yeah. social security number, well, Let's say if you're in another country and you're trying to Get democracy going, and, and the, yeah. the the current the, the current the current regime doesn't like democracy. You could use you could set up a, a local. This, this probably won't solve all your problems, yeah. but it um, you could it, communicate without maybe someone snooping, though. That's it, the point, right? It can it can make it harder it can make it harder for someone to figure out where you're communicating from and, and where you're going to. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it's just very restrictive. It doesn't kind of solve all your problems. A lot of people are like, oh, like this makes me totally anonymous. You still have yeah, to like timing is a thing. you have to like clear out your browser cache. You have to make sure you have no cookies. But yeah. if you do use Tor correctly, it's a very powerful way to anonymously use the web without having any connection to you know your existing identity. So you can create a new identity or do anonymous browsing. Um, it's used by journalists often. They don't right. want governments to know that they're in the country, yeah. so they'll enter a country and then they'll use Tor. Yeah, um, uh, the, data. the Tor project was sponsored by the Navy. Uh, partially, well, yeah. Partially, so it's you know you have operatives in other countries. You don't want your you know we don't want our people yeah. caught if they're like yeah. trying to, to to help individuals out there. Yeah, it's used by it's used by nearly everybody. It's used by a lot of people for different purposes, and that's actually kind of good because the more people who use it. 
the more kind of randomized and on it's yeah. the more difficult it is to figure out what people are using it for. Mm -hmm. And then um, if you build this project, uh, it's it's a pretty easy project, but you can extend it by becoming a relay. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you can become an exit node, which is one of the final points where data comes out. Um, there are some like legal implications of that, so you should okay. read the Tor yeah, website. Yeah. It's especially your ISP yeah. may not like that, but uh, <laughs> you you know if you run an ISP or yeah. if you're in a university and you have permission, you can run an exit yeah. node using uh, the Pi. I'll tell you what I like about this, and, and Colin can chime in on this. Is the Pi is this little tiny platform that you can add a very specific feature. You're working on a cool project that might be out soon. It's a what? Mm. Uh, it is a small, it's a monitor for, and a controller for uh, Bitcoin mining devices. So a Pi Bitcoiner. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Pi Miner, yeah. Pi Miner. You got to come up with a name. We did Onion Pi. Someone said, like, there was a... Uh, Can't do Pi Miner. Pinion, Pi, 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 Pi. No, Onion yeah. Pi is better. Onion Pi, we like Onion, onion Pi. Pi. So onion. That's clear. Yeah. Get onions, right. um, get Pi. Um, okay, it'll be a food thing. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> right. Coin Pi. I'll Bitcoin. let you know. Yeah, high coin. What's wrong with pie miner? Good pie, I don't know. Okay. All right. Coin pie. Uh, All right, that's all the new products. That was new products. Yeah. Good. Chop, chop. Good work, folks.